Our Mike Fratello, Stu Jackson, I'm Matt Weiner. Good to have you with us. Uh, guys, we're talking about an NBA anomaly. The San Antonio Spurs, who were 40-1 and one on their home floor last year, are 4-4 four and four at home this year. But they're the third team in NBA history to win their first 11 games on the road. So looking at the schedule, when will they lose on the road? Their best chance for losing is next Thursday night on TNT against the Chicago Bulls. They're facing the team in the Bulls that rank in the top 10, both offensively and defensively, uh, in, in, the, uh, in the league right now. And, uh, it, you know, I don't see anyone before that that can really challenge them because it's obvious to me they're really focused, the basketball team on the road, Coach. Minnesota at home is, uh, you know, look, Minnesota overall is struggling this year at 5-13. Yeah. and 13. Uh, when you look at the game before that, Milwaukee just six and four at home, decent, and they're playing very well. So they, they catch them they're so athletic. You know that could be a problem. I think of the first one at Milwaukee. But when you get to Chicago, think about this: Chicago has played eleven games away already, and only five. Tonight will be their sixth home game. So they're trying to get comfortable and familiar with their own building. Yeah, they could go in there and knock Chicago off too. Of course, the wild card is Greg Popovich could choose to sit half his team any of those nights, and we can't predict that. But explain to me, if you can, the difference between the road home splits for this team right now. It's bizarre. Yeah, it's a difficult one uh, to explain, but you have to break it down separately. And oftentimes, Coach, you know, teams sometimes fall into that malaise of feeling like when they're home, their home crowd will carry them through the history of the Spurs and the fact that they've won so much over so many years that it's just going to happen. You may lose a little bit of focus defensively in your own building, and the Spurs are not a great defensive team right now. So you have all those factors. Throw in the fact that we're now entering the holidays, and there's even more room for concern as players become distracted with their personal lives, and it's a little bit of a concern. But, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, all that's just talk. you got to get back in transition and guard your guy. Yeah, this is a, an interesting team because, uh, as you mentioned earlier, we're not going to know how many nights uh, Popovich is going to sit Pau Gasol to have him fresh down the stretch, Tony Parker to have him fresh. I mean, thank goodness they've got Patty Mills, who's come in and played great for them so far off the bench. But that's the biggest concern. And, you know, with Pop, it's probably not all that bad that they got off to this kind of start because it gives him something to be angry about. Yes. All right, if they started out 11-0 at home, then what's he going to be upset about? You know what? We're all talking about it, and I feel like somehow this was his master plan all along. I don't know how that works, but I, I feel like that's probably the case with him. And there you have it, a little bit of game time for your Go90 app.